This is the Bonus Section Podcast, episode number 81, Grow a Superiority Complex. Are you the type of person that knows you were meant for something greater in this lifetime and that somewhere inside of you, there's just this bigger version of yourself trying to break through, but in spite of all your self-development attempts, you just can't seem to find the way up there? Well, then, hey, you are definitely in the right place. I'm Danny Griffin, the founder of The Bonus Section and the host of this podcast and a person just like you trying to learn how to live the most fulfilling life possible. Now, to help you take immediate action to get moving in a better direction, we take all the notes from each episode and we post them for a short period of time over at freethinkingtools.com because that's what they are, notes to inspire you to think. No charge, freethinkingtools.com. Get over there, okay? Because really all I'm trying to do is inspire you to disturb the peace inside your life and to, to think and to grow and to get better and have a better life. I mean, what's wrong with all that? It's good stuff, all right? All right. Grow a superiority complex. I heard this. Uh, somebody was talking <clears throat> in the context of doing a lot of my real estate and social media studying. I ran into um, some knowledge that was being shared by Alex Hermosi and he had some good business advice, but this was some of the head stuff advice that I liked. He started talking about very, very successful people. And there were a couple of characteristics of, and he was referring to billionaires. He was, he was talking about the characteristics that he believed made them special, but one stood out to me. And it's interesting that I should hear it on the tale of the last bonus section episode last week, because I talked about contracting and expanding. And we have this battle of we're always either contracting or expanding. Quite frankly, a lot of us are always contracting in some form or fashion. So I thought his message uh, that a lot of these top, I don't know what you would call them, producers or successful people, at least in a monetary standpoint, I don't know anything about who he was referring to, so I'll, I'll cautiously go into the subject. As it was referred to me, it stimulated me to think about, well, a superiority complex. At first, that sounds like a negative thing. But, the first point here is I thought to myself, yeah, but, but why not talk about that? Because the first point is, well, why are you happy to grow an inferiority complex without challenging it? But yet the minute somebody starts talking about growing a superiority complex, my gosh, we all want to rail against it. We all want to water it down, even it out, and, and call it all sorts of names. But really, it's just, again, I, I'm one of these folks that just believes, hey, look, fact is fact. Life is life. Words are words. We have to consider them. We can't just get mad at them, throw them away, end the debate, stop thinking. Superior and inferior. Very powerful ends of a spectrum. Very powerful ends. And a lot of people that feel inferior these days are trying to speak up. They don't want to be marginalized. And they want to move up the ladder. But yet, they won't talk about developing a superiority complex for themselves. Well, how are you going to get out of the hole? right? You're going to wait for what? Everybody else, you know the, the motto here. If you've listened to the podcast before, and I'll end it today the same way when I get there, but I'll say it now, nobody's coming for you. So you're, if you find yourself in a marginalized or inferior place um, and, and you feel put down and kept there, well, stop whining about it. Do something about it. I'm going to make an argument that's time that you need to grow some sort of superiority complex. But let me, let me get a little bit into it. Again, I'm going to repeat. You might find yourself, like many of us do, happy to currently grow an inferiority complex. And by the way, if you're complaining about a lousy spot that you're in, you're only growing it more. You're feeding it. You're, you're, you're making it stronger and stronger and stronger. You're feeding <clears throat> this marginalized position and this inferior complex that you have about yourself. All right, so let's get out of that hole. And here's what I suggest. I suggest that you hang on to, to this terminology. And by the way, a long time ago, I heard another successful person talking about very successful people in a particular business who all said, why not me? Why not me? They had an attitude. Why should it be somebody else that's so successful? Why not me? Why can't I do that? Why can't I be the one? So I want you to start recognizing that concept is available to you. Why not you? Why not you to be superior at some task or talent? 
And if it makes you cringe because, you know, you, you have this sort of non-competitive bone inside yourself and you don't want to, you don't want to feel like you're putting anybody down. You're not. That's not the point here. That's just another lousy excuse to say, why not you? I mean, look, I'm a believer that you were born with something special about you, some special talent or predilection to, to be really good at something. I don't mean in comparison to anybody else. I just mean for you, alone in a vacuum, in the uh, vacuum or scientifically a vacuum, a quiet place, right? Where there's nothing else but you and your potential. That's you. So why not you to express that thing? And by the way, I know a lot of you will say, well, I don't know what that thing is. Okay, well, don't really... Really, there's not some thing that's screaming inside of you that you're interested in. There's not that one thing that bubbles up when you sleep in your dreams or, or, or that frustrates you because you don't have it yet. I mean, come on. It's there. You have to give yourself permission to listen to yourself and your desires and your passions. That's the thing. Why not you about that thing? Why can't you at least go and express that, even if it's a side hustle, even if it's a passion that instead of wasting time on the internet and getting more frustrated, feeling more inferior and more marginalized and more isolated these days, that's the scariest thing to me. Man, we're just disappearing into these small little corners of the world. We're isolated. We're finding mental illness. It's just really growing. So this is some ugly stuff. So you got to hang on to the bar and pull yourself up out of that hole. Why not you? Why not you? Why not you? Next point, okay? Can you believe that you're superior and still be humble? Okay, so let's keep going in this because I want to try to eliminate the excuses so you can do this. So I was challenged thinking about that. Is it possible to have this complex of being superior, which means above all else, everybody else. Can I believe that and still be humble? Well, I say, why not? Why not? It's nobody saying this is an external thing all the time. Let that sink in because that's where I'm starting to shift towards here, okay? Is, is that this is not necessarily external. In other words, a naive person here has developed a superior complex, superiority complex, and automatically assumes that you have to start putting people down. Well, I'm better than you. No, you don't even have to say anything. You don't have to say anything at all. You have to just have this conversation in your head and say, what does it look like to develop a superiority complex for myself to believe that why not me to do this one thing better than I did it yesterday. Jordan Peterson talks about that a lot. And he talks about just compare yourself to who you were yesterday. So if all of a sudden you start saying, why not me, you're different because you haven't been saying that on a regular basis. There's a nice incantation if you need one. Why not me? And then add in to become the next violinist. Do, or at least to learn the violin. I've always wanted to. I, I am, I'm enamored. I go to the symphony. I watch it online and I've never taken a dang lesson. Do something about it, right? And say, why not me to become the next best person? I'm so, I'm, I'm motivated to do this thing. I, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. I'll, I'll learn into the night and nobody's going to do that. Nobody will outwork me. Nobody will outstudy me. Nobody will outlearn me. But that's not being said to other people. You can do that quietly. And so that, that quiet competitiveness is humility. You're not rubbing it in anybody's face. You're not being obnoxious. You're not being that person, right? You're humbly just battling inside of you, trying to get out of this hole. And that's the bonus section of the bonus section podcast here, is that your superiority complex is actually an internal device that you must grow to cease all this contracting, right? Think about it. As time goes on and you, you let this dream slip away and you say, oh, I could never and, oh, that's not for me and I don't have the right circumstances, the right fin you know, financial circumstances, familial circumstances, support cast, whatever. You make all these excuses. That's contraction, contraction, contraction. Keep feeding that inferiority beast and you just feed it. And as time goes on and you get older and everything seems to just be slipping away more and you keep piling more weight on, more weight until finally someday you just break. There's nothing left to you. There's no hope. That can happen. And it does happen. 
ends up in some ugly place of disease or mental illness. And this is a dangerous, slippery slope that we, we fall. Look, look at a lot of people. I'm not talking about somebody who catches, you know, some, some terrible disease and it's unforeseen and that's really sad. I'm just talking about the self-inflicted wounds of piling on negativity after negativity and that can break you. And so the internal devices that we, we have to come up with, I'm much more about how to, you know, this is not a rah, rah podcast. I'm trying to figure this stuff out myself too, that in my low moments, how can I say, why not me? Or when I'm trying to expand into the next thing and I'm tired or I'm exhausted from life, or I'm sick. I'm doing this podcast on the tail end of COVID. But I just keep pushing. Something drives me. Why not me? Why can't I keep going? Why do I have to stop? See, it's an internal device. Because it would be so easy to take any kind of negative circumstances. Worse, the ones that we create, but some external ones. Things happen. Life collides into us. And it's easy to, to, to have all those collisions stimulate this contraction. So I want a bag of tools. Like I said to you before, and I reference, we take the notes from these episodes, we throw a couple episodes up there, free thinking tools. It's always been a passion of mine to build thinking tools for myself. I always imagine myself walking around with a bag of tools. I can remember when I really first started getting into the head stuff. I was a young person, just graduated college and totally confused. Totally putting way too much pressure on myself totally breaking myself physically, trying to run in circles and figure it out instead of just relaxing and being strategic. That was when I began to see this bag that was empty and I didn't have thinking tools in it. So I started learning, devoured books. You can see my new studio set up here. There's a whole bunch of books there behind me if you want to zoom in. There's a lot of head stuff going on back there. A lot of people that I read about and, you know, read their thoughts and their how-to. Psycho-Cybernetics, one of my favorites. That's a real how-to book. Because I, I want to develop that superiority complex for myself. I want to be humble and hold that, like that, that big energy ball of superiority feeling. I want to hold that energy ball in a humble way and I want to have that internal battle. I want to be ready that when my inferior side comes up and it questions and self-doubt, I want to cease it. I want to take that tool and bam, right? Shoot that inferiority down before it grows. All right, let me go back and talk about this in bullet points. I want you to grow a superiority complex. Yes, I do. Because the first point is, well, in the first place, why are you happy to grow an inferiority complex and you won't talk about a superiority complex for yourself too? Why not you? Why not you to do great things or better things than the older version of yourself at least? Three, can you believe that you're actually superior and still be humble? I'll argue yes. And the bonus section of the bonus section podcast today is, here's why. Because your superiority complex is actually an internal advice. It's not something you're rubbing in somebody's face necessarily. It's an internal uh, device that you must grow to cease all this contraction, which can really kill the quality of your life. Let me summarize it by saying it this way, okay? If we would just stop to think about how we put ourselves and our potential down we would probably become conscious of how we are the real enemy. By falling into the trap of diminutization or severe personal contraction, we're growing a very, very dangerous inferiority complex that is a really hard habit to break free from. Therefore, you must start building a superiority complex to combat your inner weakness. And that starts simply by stating on a regular basis to yourself. Why not me? Why not me? Why not me? All right, remember, you can take immediate action to get started or moving in the right directions towards these goals because we take these notes from each episode. We leave a couple episodes up there because we don't want you overwhelmed Then you'll do nothing. So a couple episodes are sitting at free thinking tools, think the bag of tools, free thinking tools, and we give you instant access. You can print them out, look at them digitally, go to Starbucks, sit down, go somewhere quiet, think, just think, think your way out of the hole. You can, you have the tools. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen. We also post our content on YouTube, especially 
Yes, other places too, but I'm trying to concentrate on YouTube and get it out there. So don't forget to subscribe to the bonus section channel. Turn on those notifications and you'll be reminded that we're here weekly at the moment, maybe more in the future. We'd also appreciate it if you would join our mission of becoming people for others and share our content with somebody who needs this message right now. That would be really kind and I'd appreciate that. There's nothing in it for me other than I just wanted to echo beyond you to other people you care about. Remember this though, however, I sign off the same way every time. Nobody's coming for you either. Nobody's coming for you. So go get to work on yourself and a better plan for your goals. And we'll see you in the next episode to help you do just that. Thanks again.